We present a novel view synthesis method from Dynamic Scene using a monocular camera. This is joint work with University of Minnesota and NVIDIA. Given images captured from Dynamic Scene, our goal is to synthesize images from arbitrary views and times. This enables many applications, such as bullet time effect, space-time navigation, and customized cinemagraph. Many existing methods are limited to static scene and dynamic content are considered outliers despite being a major focus in videography on social media and otherwise. Several existing works have shown promising results on dynamic scene. However, they require a synchronized multi-view system where the same geometric principle can be applied as the static scene. Recently, a few methods enabled the dynamic scene view synthesis using monocular camera, but they require a class-specific prior such as human. Our method is applicable to a general dynamic scene captured from a monocular camera. From static scenes, the general pipeline of novel view synthesis is composed of the following two steps. First, depth estimation from multi-view images. Second, transporting the pixels from source views to virtual views through the reconstructed geometry. However, from dynamic scenes where the epipolar geometry does not apply anymore, The depth estimation will fail, and this incompleteness will be propagated into the novel view synthesis. Our main research question is, how can we get the depth map that is complete and still scale invariant across the views from dynamic scenes? The multi-view stereo is scale invariant across the views, while it is incomplete. The single view prediction provides a complete depth map while it is scale variant. Our key idea is to combine the strengths of the stereo based depths and learning based depths to estimate the scale invariant and complete depth maps. To do this, we newly design a depth fusion network that takes the depth from multi view stereo and depths from single view prediction and output the fused depth map. Using this depth map, we render a photorealistic virtual view by warping and refining the images. We train our depth fusion network in a self-supervised way. It predicts the fused depth map from multi-view stereo and single view depths with the guidance of the image captured from the target view. We minimize the depth difference between the output depths and multi-view stereo, assuming that the depths from static region must be aligned with multi-view stereo depths. We minimize the difference of relative depths between the output depths and single view depths, assuming that the depth relativeness of the dynamic content should be consistent with the single view depths. We minimize the Laplacian of the estimated depths as a special regularization. We apply the temporal regularization as well by three steps. First, we estimate the fused depths map from neighboring views. Second, 
we estimate the optical flow between the target and neighboring views. Finally, we reconstruct the 3D scene flow by combining the depth maps and optical flow. Here we minimize the scene flow assuming that the 3D scene motion is smooth and slow. Given images, depth maps, and foreground mask, we synthesize a photorealistic virtual view in a specific location and time. To this end, we transport the pixels from source cameras to the virtual view by separately warping the foreground and background. The global background is reconstructed by merging the background pixels from all views based on the camera baseline. Finally, the image blending network generates the blending residue to refine and complete the synthesized image. Our image blending network is trained with adversarial loss in a self-supervised way. This slide shows the comparison of the depth estimation with other baseline methods. Here, ours represent our depth fusion method. The ground tools is captured from multi-view system where they are manually synchronized. MVS represents the optimization-based multi-view stereo where it obviously fails to estimate the depth on the dynamic content as the epipolar geometry does not apply. Even learning-based multi-view stereo fails to estimate the depth from dynamic scene. Monodepths predict the depth from single view where its depth scale is highly inconsistent with the ground to depths. Sparse to dense is the recent depth completion method where it completely fails without having explicit guidance of visual and motion cues. We tested our method on various dynamic content such as humans, balloons, umbrella, and truck. On average, our method outperforms the existing depth estimation method with the metric of mean square error. More importantly, this accurate depth allows us to synthesize the image in a geometrically consistent way. To measure such geometric consistency, we evaluate the view synthesis result based on the magnitude of optical flow from the ground tools to the synthesized image. On average, our method has a least flow error, which means the best in producing a noble view in a geometrically consistent way. This slide shows the comparison on the noble view synthesis in time varying scenarios. We can observe a significant artifact such as wobbling effect, pixel floating, and the jitters of dynamic content. Our method has a few limitations. If the foreground mask is not accurate, it produces a significant artifact such as object fragmentation and after image effect. When the background scene is cluttered, our method can cause noisy warping result due to the significant depth discontinuity from the clutter. Finally, our method does not perform well when a viewing angle between the neighboring views is large due to the decrease of the overwrap over the dynamic content. We highlight that our method can be applicable to the monocular cell phone camera. Thanks.